Hey guys, today we're going to create a software based Wi Fi jammer using AirGetIn on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. So, jamming is a type of denial of service attack. And normally when you do Wi-Fi jamming, what you do is you completely flood the radio spectrum with noise, and this prevents anybody from doing anything because there's so much traffic. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to send out deauth packets, which tells anyone on a specific network to disconnect. Now we can do this because deauth packets are a type of packet called management frames, which are actually not encrypted at all. And this is actually a fatal flaw of um, uh, current Wi-Fi systems and the WPA2 scheme, but it allows us to easily forge packets to pretend like they're from the router. So let's take advantage of that. Uh, to get started, you're going to need to have, I think, just Kali Linux. Um, AirGetIn comes pre-installed with that. And if you get confused at any point during this um, tutorial, go ahead and check out the article link in the description. Let's get started. OK, so if you're using Kali Linux, you should have AirGetIn already installed. If you're not using Kali Linux, you can find it on GitHub and just do a git clone. All right, so in order to start AirGetIn, I'm going to um, run sudo bash dot slash airgetin. I'm just going to run the script. And we're greeted with AirGetIn's UFO and pretty cool logo. And all right, let's press Enter. I think we have all the tools that we need. Nope. I don't want to look for extra plugins. Let's continue. All right, let's continue. All right, so we need to put one of our network interfaces into monitor mode. So I'm going to do WLAN 1. This is just selecting it. So I'm going to push option number 3, press Enter. Then we need to do option number 2 to put the interface into monitor mode. Cool. So press enter. Now that that's in monitor mode, let's go to option four, denial of service attacks. All right. So before we can do an attack, we have to know what, what we're targeting and what network we want to attack. So let's select option four to explore for targets. And it says we can do it because we're in monitor mode. Let's press enter. And we should, I apologize for the very small text. We should uh, get a whole bunch of information about all of the networks nearby. Stop that. All right, let's select number 10, null byte. So just select number 10, type it in. And then the specific attack that we're doing is number five, a deauth disassociation attack. So let's select five. And this is asking if we want to do pursuit mode, which will um, check to see if after a device has been deauth, if it'll switch to a different channel to try to reconnect. And this will chase that as, and essentially go to different channels and deauth on every channel. So we're going to select yes for that. And all we need to do now is press enter and it should start the attack. All right, cool. So, oh, here we go. All right, so as you can see, these are all the devices that have attempted to connect and that we've immediately sent a deauth packet to and they have been disconnected from the network. So um, as you can see, AirGetIn makes this super easy. All we had to do was type a few numbers in and we had our attack going in no time. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out our website where we have hundreds of free articles and videos, as well as premium paid content like the Ethical Hacking Certification Bundle, which features pen testing with OWASP Zap, WordPress hacking and hardening, and the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Prep Course. Check out the link in the description below. All right, guys, so as you can see, AirGetIn makes this attack very easy and very straightforward. And because of that, a word of warning, a denial of service attack on any network other than a network that you own is illegal, and you will get in trouble because it is very easy to detect because um, these packets that you're sending will leave traces and they will leave logs containing your MAC address and the exact time that you executed this attack. So please be aware of that. If you'd like to learn more about this particular topic, go ahead and check the article link in the description. If you have any suggestions for future videos, go ahead and send me a tweet at Tim5, Tim51092 on Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day, guys. Bye.